lot of connection to this Altham side. We'll see Alec taking the court for Altham. And of course, it's Tom Bandolowski who coaches this Keelor side. At the other end, though, it was Reed. And so at the other end, it was a desperate attempt from Andriolo, but Altham with runners again. Given room, she rarely misses, and she makes it. Does Haley Liddell gets a little bit of the backboard? We've got numbers here to Altham, three of them. As Maley given to Pizzi, should finish, is fouled, hits the floor, and collects two points on the way. 19 to 16 is what the score says. 19 to 15 is what we've got in the building. I suspect that's from that disagreement on whether it was a two or a three a few possessions ago. It is Andrew. It's the sort of attributes we saw in action just last week in the 3x3 Asia Cup tournament where our Australia finished second as we see Hildebrand. Kareem Campbell sets the pick, then rolls. Here's Maley given to win. She has a panic and she splashes for three. It was Andriolo unable to score. Altham out by four. Can they add to the pain they're inflicting on Keelor? Given a busy back her way in. Oh yes, Beck busy. Keelor were able to close it out, then find Maley. Open lane for two. So it was a five point lead for Keelor on this quarter. Was out to eight, but Maddie Garrick says not just yet, Altham. Shoots. Unable to score. Keelor, a chance to take the lead here before half time. It's Reed is fouled. Oh yes, for Krista Reed. Nothing but Apple turnovers in the last couple of minutes. Here's Beck Pizzi. Drags her Altham side back into the lead. Here is Vandalovska. She got nine points in the first quarter, has been unable to score since then. Garrick, oh yes, long two. Unable to contest. So stays at a one point game. Garrick watching on from the sidelines. Here's Liddell. What a finish from Hayley Liddell. 61 55, the pass from Garrick was a stray one. And so Stagall was able to come up with it. She's got room all the way to the basket. The seas parted for Stackhole and she scores. Make the block on Vandalovska. Eight seconds remaining on the shot clock. Given to Liddell, watch out. Haley Liddell drills the three. Left. Can Eltham do what Here we go. unthinkable? Here's Haley Liddell. A little percentage boost for Eltham through the hands of Haley Liddell. Went down by two to Mount Gambia, down by four to Launceston. A big loss to Waverley last Sunday, but they've turned things around. They win 80-67 over the top of Keelor Thunder.